Welcome to another Ground Branch AI update and this time I must apologize for the sound in advance because I've uh, run out of power points to plug my microphone in. So I'm using the Zoom H1 as a backup device uh, because it powers from USB. I will fix that tomorrow. Anyway, I wanted to do a quick update just to show you the cover reservation thing. So right now what you're seeing on screen is it's generating cover. Green dots are the cover points. They actually draw themselves in different colors based on whether they're reserved or not now. So if you find that some of the dots go pink, those pink dots are the points where an actor, uh, one of the soldier guys has reserved that point so basically he's saying I'm going there don't anybody else go to it to stop the sort of idea of everybody going to the same place essentially and fighting over like when they get there so that bit's working as you can probably see there's a whole bunch of other stuff that isn't working but I am going to get to that um what oh, the other little tiny little green sort of dots that you see on there are actually arrows and they're shooting points you know where somebody's shot from essentially Ooh, look, there you, go. you see guys kind of push each other around and stuff still so there's a few ways to fix that you know RVO avoidance or the detour stuff detour crowd stuff so I'll have a look at them getting that set up and see which one I prefer we still need to have some way of um, stopping the agents from shooting through each other <laughs> which is an unfortunate byproduct with the fact that they have no idea. Um, actually, no, technically, that would be a relatively easy fix because you can just stop the closest soldiers to us, because... Yes. Well, I'll fix that one fairly shortly anyway. It's not a big deal. So there's still some issues with the actual cover point sort of markup thing, which I'll probably get to in the next week or so. Because it doesn't, it doesn't seem to find the correct, um, the correct actual cover from a specific target right now. I think it's probably something to do with uh, how I've just rigged up some of the test cases. So I shall get to the bottom of that now that I can actually work back on the AI again and not have it crash, which is excellent here. So there you go. It's. A work in progress still, but it actually is a work in progress, which is useful. Um, oh yeah, so right now I've got these guys just doing random pathing, so you'll just see them randomly go into one of the pink spots, cover spots. Obviously that wouldn't be actually useful for a game, so um, what I'll probably do next is work on a couple of the squad commands. Um, so there is a squad actor in there that's giving these guys, or is capable of giving these guys commands. Right now they're just doing their own thing, which is dumb. But they don't do anything unless you tell them to do something, right? So I just did a random, choose a random sort of um, cover point and then go to it. So the next part is that I'll give them a squad command, which will be to attack a given point. And the other point will be the other enemy's spawn location. And these two squads will then battle it out to the death well continuously to the death because this is set to respawn the squads are set to respawn the guys when they die just for testing purposes so that's what i'll probably show you next is the um the squad command for attack uh, we'll have the two squads attack each other in, in this arena once i've had a twiddle with the cover point stuff again so I hope you um, don't mind the noise in this video and you find it at least somewhat informative. I shall hopefully see you again in the next one where we'll actually have a proper microphone again so the sound won't be quite as terrible, although it will be probably quite terrible. See you later.